Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman, Ryan William Jordan. You said my name backwards, man. I like it that way. <laughs> it is better that way. Yes. <laughs> William's a stupid ass name. <laughs> Will your <Ryder. laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh man. We're joined by Jordan Kane. Hey. And Connor Hobbs. Yo. Thank you for being with us this week, guys, and thank you for listening. How's your guys' week been? Everybody all at once. Let's go. It was really good. Hey, man, I, I watched I Thor. Thor it was an ex- <laughs> Next, I didn't really have a week. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. JK, I had a great week. Great week. Anything eventful happen? Went and saw Thor. Cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. Damn. Have you decided when you're cutting your hair yet? Have I decided when I'm cutting my hair? Nah, man. Cutting your hair? How how short are we going here? I was thinking a uh, mullet. <laughs> I, uh, I was hoping you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about like you know, kind of like you know, side part like on the top, you know. Can you just like have side part on top, but then just hair? have like a lot of length in the back. Oh, you can just man. do the no I'm hair. I'm having a hard time picturing this. But are you gonna go to just a mustache, facial hair? <laughs> 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 I could probably do that. I could probably work it. Yeah. <laughs> it it <laughs> looked really good with your mullet. I'll buy a Marlboro jacket. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a cow cowgirl chick you're trying to get with right now or something or what? No, nah, man. I just uh. Like before, I like you know get like a real haircut, haircut, you know, like a you suckers. I just figured like you know what, might as well rock the mullet. I've grew this, I grew this shit out for like about two and a half years, three years, so might as well do something crazy with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do cornrows like Kyle is wanting me to, just for a day. Yeah, I just hey. don't want cornrows <clears throat> at all. Andrew did it, man. Come on. But okay, okay. But what's Andrew your is Andrew? What's your <laughs> what's your big? <laughs> He's got a yeah, perm. Andrew's got a perm right now. <laughs> a freaking yeah, rocks all kinds of crazy shit. He goes yeah. for it, man. He goes hard for it. <laughs> People, <laughs> hard. Not dissing, dissing him. Just saying like that dude. That dude just does shit that I don't do. How about yeah, we, uh, Andrew's how got do style. The pattern baldness, and then just have the Hulk Hogan stash going on. That yeah, would be cool. rad. I'm not just sure if I can do that. Nothing like, right here, though. You can pull it off. Come on. You wear a hat most of the time. You know, just see it. I'm, I'm not sure if I can really get 20 the whole bucks. cooking stash. 20 bucks? 20 bucks to do that and the male pattern bonus. Male pattern bonus? 20 bucks. Sounds pretty good. 20 bucks, man. Come on. In that coat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to dye your tips blonde or anything? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I got to, bro. Yeah. If I'm really good, I'm going to do it for Halloween. Go save the hair cut till the Halloween. And great. I'm not going to work out at all. <laughs> just buy one of those, uh, those, those, those strong man suits. This is squishy. We got I'm that Spider Man one. Into your Halloween, I'm going to walk into your Halloween party, like just wearing, like, you know, the pants, but like wearing no shirt. Spandex. Not yeah, not worked out at all. I'm just gonna point to people, and be like, "Hey, what's up, brother?" <laughs> <laughs> just like the farthest away from hell. Yeah, I'm not here to talk about my transition. <laughs> yeah. What so, the? F- what are you gonna do when the Hulk Hogan runs wild on you, brother? <laughs> yeah. Snap it to a Slim Jim. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> That's Macho Man, dude. Oh, is it Macho Man? Okay, yeah, yep, never Macho mind. Man is the Slim Jim, dude. <laughs> huh. Jackson would know. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. I do have a big giant pin on of him on a jacket. Jackson, what do you think Macho Man Randy Savage would say about you getting that mullet? What would he say? I, I think he would be like, hell yeah, dude. You probably need to work out, though. Yeah. But he was like, you know what? Believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he'd do. He'd be like, you can do whatever you want. 
He's, he's like, I can fly. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's very kind. I don't know who you guys are talking about, but he's very kind. This Macho Man, yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho, oh, you know. I, mean, I know of him. Yeah. Yes, I know yeah. he's a wrestler. But I got you for three minutes. Bonesaw, <laughs> Bonesaw is ready. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen a, that clip. Spider Man. Yeah. The first there's literally a video the on there's oh, a yeah. video on YouTube yeah. of him just it's a montage of him just breathing, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> him inhaling just. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Oh my gosh! Well, um, Ryan, how's your week been, man? It's been great, dude. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on here in this next week, possibly. Uh, <laughs> Probably nothing important, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing important at all. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, just really just had a big blacks week, really. Most of most of it, but kind of stressful a little bit trying to figure out if, if like, you know, trying to hopefully not have a baby on uh Saturday because it's my son's birthday and it's unfortunate because that's his day. Yeah, uh, that's his birthday. Yeah, it's, it's shitty enough that he has to share his month with her, but same day it'd be horrible. <laughs> you have to just yell at her, like, as soon as Saturday hits, you're gonna be like, all right, hold that. Just staying in, man. <laughs> Hold it in. No, I'm just be like, happy birthday, dude. We're not going to be there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're at your birthday party by yourself. <laughs> wow. So yeah. she's she's due any day now? Yeah. The doctor said today that she's dilated to like a three or a four and then 70% effaced. So it's like, he's wow. like, you're not going to make it to the end of next week. That's what he said. Wow. So any day now. Because our due date is technically July 31st, and, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. That is wild, dude. Pretty pumped, but. Nice. And you like babies? Mm -hmm. I love babies. Okay. Babies are great. That's like the best stage before they become hellions, and you have to deal with them asking you shit all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like, hey, can I have something to eat? You're like, well, of course you can have something to eat. Can you make it? I'm like. Shit, I have to get out. <laughs> yeah. Or they want a drink of your drink, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. Just have to, yeah, you can have this beer. I can't drink after other people, man. It's, no, I can't do it. I can't even drink after yeah. Adelaide. She drinks my drink. I'm like, it's yours now. You have to have it. <laughs> Dang. I find it weird because I don't have a problem, like, drinking after, like, like, someone that I know. But if it's a kid... I do have a problem with it. So much backwash. Yeah, like I'm pretty skeptical. In the bottle. Yeah. Try to like lick it out like a cat. Like, I would share a drink with any of y'all. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not you. Oh, <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> but at the same time, like, if like Anakin was like, "Hey, can I get a sip of your drink?" I'd be like, I "Have it." Right. See, <laughs> that's you. I got I, like until they become like. Sentient, like sixteen, to yeah. where it's like they like I know how to drink from a bottle and not like just fucking. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna let you drink after me, or I'm not gonna drink after you. So I just don't drink after people. Period. It's a good motto. Yep. Good credo. Mono man, strong out there. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for that mono. Yeah, dude. Bo, speaking I'm, of mono, I'm, I'm drinking Jackson's drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck finding my drink. Bro. You don't know what you're gonna end up with. Yeah. <laughs> Mysteries. <laughs> I've been drinking body armor all night. You've been drinking that one, so technically you kind of drink. Been drinking what I've been drinking. So no, it's not. It's it's the taste of your lips on the bottle. Come on, uh, yeah. you want my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lick the ram. <laughs> Rubber lips are amazing to your charms. Oh, man. But how you been, man? Not good. Uh no, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I always like to throw people off if they think that no. Um I went and saw the ocean. Yeah, apparently it's a big deal. I don't know. Did you go in it? I was reluctant. I was I I was having a hard time it was even real anymore. I was like, man, they say it's really big, never seen it. I've done a little bit of traveling, so but it's real. I saw it and I got in it. Yes, as far as the I can see. <laughs> Which ocean did you see? Uh, it's in Florida, like the Florida Me- ocean. Mexico Beach <laughs> and uh, the Florida Ocean. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's one of them. Damn, what would that be? That would be is, is that like on the inside or the outside? 
<laughs> like, like in the Gulf of, of Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> like in the Gulf of Mexico area? Yeah, actually, that's a good question because I'm trying to think of where it even is on You'd a map. You'd have to think it was because the Atlantic Ocean, right? Because, because like, uh, yeah. my yeah, rationale is stupid here, but Pac Sun, that's Pacific over there in California, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> stuff together. All based off facts. Yeah. <laughs> but oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I've I never all. thought about or thought of it in that way before, but yeah. <laughs> that explains everything. I don't know. I mean honestly, I didn't plan any of this trip at all. I thought we were going to Texas until like relatively recently. I haven't even really looked at like on a map where it's at, but I assume yeah, it's probably because I don't think it's on like the outside or anything where this was so i guess it just yeah be like along the gulf the gulf of florida Unless some, one of you guys know different and i look really stupid i don't know. hey man it's florida it was an ocean i've only been there one time you know about as much as i do yeah all right keep was, talking bo and tell me where you went and then keep talking some more and i'll chime in so yeah it was mexico was find it, but my phone mexico busy. beach which is weird i'm like i didn't even know that was a place um, i think you went to mexico bro. and then panama city <laughs> beach were you guys staying in like Airbnbs or what? No, Jessica knows like some doctor and then like her friend too was there. Um, and he has like a condo there, like a big house that we all stayed in. It's pretty sweet. It was yeah, pr- pretty damn close to the beach. But yeah, I'm just trying to look at this, this, uh, this map to even find out where the hell I went. So you're right there. So yeah, Gulf of Mexico. What was the right way? You're way up here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you're in here somewhere. Yeah, like right here. Mexico well, Beach. Like, yeah. We went back and forth. Yeah, from like Panama City. And yeah, Mexico Beach and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been around. to the Gulf of Mexico. I've never been to uh, the Pacific Ocean. I've only basically been, you know, that uh, Gulf of Mexico water. We can, like that's like pretty much a lot warmer water compared yeah. to if you were to go to the Pacific Sea. Right. Yeah. Pacific Sea Ocean. <laughs> yeah it was super nice man like I, I was uh i was getting down on some uh boogie boarding or whatever trying to drown myself like <laughs> like i can barely swim and i was getting pretty far out there dude. Like, those waves were like because there was actually a storm coming in and we saw some little water tornadoes not a big deal water spout yeah we saw like three of them actually yeah one time it's so pretty sweet a, a triple bro hell yeah triple, dude yeah, that's we awesome triple. we went for sprouts. we went for the triple and we got it yeah <laughs> stuck it. Uh, <laughs> we, i saw some dolphins shit dude <laughs> i saw i saw a manatee tail not the whole thing just the tail it was going back underwater but they said that was kind of rare whatever you try to catch it don't want to brag um i messed with some crabs I was chasing crabs around the beach that was pretty damn sweet do you feel like Florida changed you? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So now I live the salt life. And, uh, <laughs> and I guess at, at dinner, I didn't even realize it, but Jessica's like, why did you do this to like the waitress? I was like, yeah, man. Like, I don't know. Like, You've been hanging was, loose this whole I, trip. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting out there, man. Just, just feeling that surfer vibe. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. But uh, and then, like, so when we were going out, um, on the boat to, we're going out to, like, to this shell island whatever to find shells and shit and it was pretty damn nice out there too and then like on the way that's when we were seeing dolphins and like the manatee and all that stuff but uh, like I don't know what Lincoln's problem was like all day from like the onset of the day but he was just like in such a terrible mood which is such a weird thing like to have to deal with on the side like, like a super nice time like we're seeing dolphins and stuff and Lincoln's crying about a donut like, that, like, I, was like, I was like what <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't know maybe it's just growing up super poor I was like I, I can't relate to whatever's happening right now like with you like uh, you know it's like you're just too overstimulated I'll just deal with that later like, it's like hey bro I don't get this very often I'm trying to soak this up <laughs> like get on my level dude yeah it's like oh my gosh like, dolphins and a manatee tail can you imagine there, seeing dolphins and crying at the same time like <laughs> <laughs> But like, he pulled it off. He was straight up. He was like, oh, like, and then like you know, like we would see dolphins because they'd be popping up like here and there. And he's like, oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see that one. Like, and he was just freaking out. Oh, I can oh, imagine. Oh my gosh, doing that man. Too. Like, yeah, yeah. A good analogy to that is you know, you don't see people upset or sad on a wave runner. Yeah, you never see anybody upset on that. And just right. Like, oh shit. 
Yeah, but <laughs> like Li- Lincoln would have found a way that day. He had to be sat on oh, any sort cool. of yeah thing. But oh, I did make a donation to the ocean in, in the form of brand new sunglasses, <laughs> like prescription sunglasses. I was like, I'm finally doing it. I'm getting prescription sunglasses. They're gonna look so dope. But yeah, I, cool. I never wore them before. Then I got in the ocean and immediately lost them. So wow. I like, oh, I should take those off. Do they look pretty cool? <laughs> oh my god, uh, they're, they're all right actually. I don't know. I, I was kind of on the on the fence anyway, but they're expensive. That's that's the big problem. Okay. So yeah. did you like have to call your insurance and be like, "Yo, I lost them in the ocean." <laughs> <laughs> I never got that package. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an empty box. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I believe it was the Dolphins that took your glasses. Yeah. God, man. Just charge it to the game, Bo. <laughs> yeah. Man, I ate so much seafood. It was legit. Yeah, last time I went to Florida, I, that's all I ate was seafood. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah, what I did, too. Everywhere I went, I was like, what's the fish of the day? Yeah. yeah, yeah coastal yeah, seafood, you can't beat coastal seafood. Aside from seafood, Maguire's is pretty good down Maguire's? there. Maguire's? Yeah. Maguire's. Check huh. that place out. That's over in... That's like it's in Destin, Florida, right? Yeah, that's in Destin, Florida. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever driven through the? I guess you have, Kyle, because you said you drove down there. But through the Boston Mountains, like in uh, Arkansas. Uh uh-uh. uh The Boston Mountains. So you want to know why they're called the Boston Mountains? Uh uh-uh. uh. Anybody? Uh, no. no. Uh, called the Boston why? Mountains. You uncultured swine. Um, why, Bo? <laughs> <laughs> I just actually had to Google this today. So I was like, why the fuck are they called it? Because I guess back in the day, like the early settlers or whatever. Like the word Boston in general, like kind of meant difficult, and like because the mountains and shit were so like difficult to traverse, they started calling them the Boston Mountains. Like what? It's true. It's a true story. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was cool. But but anyway, it's super nice down there. That's wild. Yeah. You forgot to say, "Yo, dude, check this out." Before you said that. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I, I could have used that. Yeah. <coughs> Connor, how's your week? Or yeah, sorry, Bo. Yeah, no, that's more? all good. Yeah. I've been missing you, bro. I've been I needing a disc golf partner. I've been texting you like crazy, like, "Hey, you want to go this day?" Yeah, you're like, dude, I want like, no, I'm out of town. Yeah, no, I'm out of town. I, I want to like, play, man. Yeah, it's hard to get someone to play with me after work, but usually Bo can. Ew. It's been hot as hot as yeah, yeah. It's been ridiculous. And next yeah. week is is ridiculous yeah, too. A hundred every every day next week. Really? Yeah, I saw like one or three or four. Yeah, four on like Tuesday. So, and it's like humidity cool. of like. Supposed to be like seventy or eighty, so it's gonna be oh, 120 outside. Yeah, sweet. It's gonna be Dude. like a <laughs> That's why you should go disc golfing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got yeah. Into my, a workout plan of weight loss program. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no kidding. I got into so my go car there. like into like the mall parking lot like the or today, and as soon as I got my car, it said that like the thermometer was one hundred and eleven. I was like, ah, oh, nice. That's what this parking lot feels like right now. <laughs> lay, on the <laughs> like, lay on the pavement. Yeah. Dang. So Connor, how's your week, been, man? Uh, pretty good for the most part. Um, dealing with a lot of bug bites <laughs> from last weekend, unfortunately. So learned some lessons there. Um, probably make the same mistake again, but still. Um, yeah, it's it's a good week. Uh, watched all of Severance, which I'd say it's up there with Peacemaker as far as like shows. My favorite show of the year so far. I hope Adam Scott wins the Emmy or whatever for Best Actor. I think he really deserves that. I've um, been watching a lot of One Piece still. Yeah, I'm at yeah. the point now where I can really see why people like it so much. I'm like 250 or so episodes in. God oh, dang, Connor. I've, <laughs> I've actually watched every single episode. 1,019 episodes. Yeah. So, yes, you will start to understand it's gets real good. They get it past season one and everything after that is just great. Yeah, and I, I thought I'd hate Usopp, but I ended up liking Usopp quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked for the uh, the show that's going to come out on Netflix, the live action show. i um, also stoked for the video game, One Piece Odyssey. It's mm-hmm. like an RPG, turn-based RPG that's coming out, so I'm really stoked on that. And I think that's why I started watching the show is because I saw that game and... Yeah, just I'm super hyped right now on that. Uh, but yeah, um, also started uh, streaming some stuff. I got this uh, capture card for my computer to where I can stream like PS5 stuff while running it through my computer and stuff. 
So uh, set that up yesterday. It was easier than I expected compared to all the other problems I was having with like OBS and all the different little things that w- was going wrong with it. Um, yeah, it was a good week. Learned a lot. Um, far, like as far as like computer wise, learned a lot of stuff, which is different for me. I don't usually learn a lot of computer stuff since you know I know most of the basic shit. But uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's cool. Cool setting up a stream. I don't, I don't expect anybody to really watch me or anything, but it'll be cool to like kind of have like a record of like these games that I play, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. But I've been having fun. So, and you've been streaming like what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from around six to eight around there. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. I want to stream a little bit longer, but it's just been like really hot in my room lately and figuring out all the tech and stuff. I was having a problem where the game audio wasn't coming through and so many problems with my stream deck because of all these overlays and you name it. But yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to stream at least like two and a half, three hours a night, ideally. But uh, yeah. ser- um, services are you streaming to like Twitch and YouTube or uh, Twitch right now, <laughs> but I can like record everything and put it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. My brother, uh, does streaming and he has he's like one of those of what they call him after you have so many view, viewers and looks like uh, subscribers and then you they get be, like a, become like a partner yeah kind of, it's like a before you become partnership so it's like there's like a stage of stuff so like you have to have there's like a list of rules like you have to stream eight hours a week or something like that to start off with and then you have to have this many followers like 30 or subscribers and then they will take you to this next level and then after that you have to get like a hundred or something like that and they stream like at least 16 plus hours a week and then you get like the partnership where they like you'll get part money of the subscribers and stuff like that okay so it goes in like a stage of stuff i don't remember what it's called but he does like horror games and stuff like that so yeah i'm mainly focusing on like single player games and well really i've been playing a lot of fall guys but i want to focus on like single player games and I'm not trying to be that Call of Duty guy or yeah. that Apex Legends guy There's or anything. There's too many of them, man. You gotta be out there and be your own thing. You can't just like go off some other people like brand themselves as just being Call of Duty or just a first person shooter player, you know? Yeah, I'd go crazy if I just played one game all the time. Yeah. You know? And that's what a lot of people do, but I mean like if they if it works for them, it works for them, but it doesn't work for everybody. So. Right. And what's your Twitch name? <laughs> oh, it's your kids Marty. <laughs> so it's a back to the future thing. But uh all lowercase, it's your kids Marty, if you want to check it out. It's your kids, Marty. What, nice. uh, what, what is Severance about? They cut your head in half and they hand it to you and you've got to eat it. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Dang. Dang. Oh, my God. I'm hooked. Yeah. Um, I'll watch it. So it's like, uh, it's kind of like a play on like, you know, what, corp- what corporations do to people, you know, but, um. A huge, there's a huge mystery around this company that uh, does this procedure to their workers where they put a chip in their head hmm. and it more or less wipes out, like when you're in their building, it wipes out your personal memories. Like you still have your basic like functional memories on like how to like operate a car or like talk or write oh, man. words. Read or write. Yeah. Like you can still do all that kind of stuff, but like all your like actual like who you are and personal memories you're starting from scratch and it's just like when you're there you're working the whole time and like you start to see what they're working on and everything looks weird you don't know what's going on and then there's all these mysteries happening and it's all like you know um a split personality with all these different characters they've all got one character that's inside the building that has a name and then outside of it they've got a different name and a different life and it's all about how these things connect and the mystery and like what's going on with this company because they're super mysterious and doing some weird shit so it's it's pretty cool i think you'd like it yeah that actually does sound pretty good you're kind of showing and like an episode or two like two episodes in christopher walken shows up christopher walken oh man like it's a big spoiler but like i don't care that's a big hook for me is christopher walken Uh, yeah Yeah, that is pretty sweet severance i don't know it's it's up there with like show of the year for me it's it's up there for show of the year for me as well that and peacekeeper both of them together but yeah or is it Peacemaker? Peacemaker. Peacemaker. God, I was the, <laughs> the uh 
writing is so good in Severance. And it's mm-hmm. directed by Ben Stiller. Yeah. yeah. Thr- uh, ben Stiller, like, he Dang. directs most of the episodes. Yeah, there's only like one or oh, two wow. that he didn't direct. But yeah, it's it's not a long series. What is it? How many episodes? Like nine. 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 And they're not super long episodes. Most are like 40 to 50 minutes, somewhere around there. And like they get in an elevator right when they go on the bottom floor and when they get to the, the floor they're on, or like right when they get in the elevator, like it goes like, wow, wow. And you can see like they just totally don't remember what just happened. And they go to, oh, they man. instantly remember what happened when they went in the elevator the day before. And it's just like flipping a switch. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm back here already? Like, whoa. Right. They could it's be crazy. Like in That's the middle trip. of like seeing something crazy, like as they're in the elevator. And then like they'll be like full on panic. And then all of a sudden, whoop. And then there's like, uh, not, like nothing happened. The and then right day. when they get back to work, they're back in that crazy moment again. Like, whoa, what's happening? Oh my God. And it's like, it's, it's wild, dude. Like, it's. This show goes places, dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> there's a <laughs> crazy twist, crazy. like I said, in episode six or seven. That's just like, there's a few twists. There's, there's lots of twists. Yeah, there's like, lots of twists, but because you just, you keep finding more, like find out a little bit more and more and more, but eventually it gives you like a big chunk, and that's the twist. Yeah, God, it's so good, dude. The only drawback is that it's on Apple Plus, and that's the only drawback for a lot of people is they don't have it. Yep. But Apple Plus, like, it's got so many good shows on There's it. like five or six shows that are must watch shows on Apple. And we'll we talk about it every week, though. Yeah. Isn't Barry on there, too? No, that's, that's HBO. HBO. Nice. There's yep. one of them on there for what it's called. All right. It's like a coach or something. Yeah. Ted Lasso. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's yeah. The one. That one is also really good. <laughs> that is good. Really good. Season two is okay. <laughs> <laughs> How was your week, Kyle? It was pretty good. Um, a few days ago, like I chipped a tooth, my front tooth, uh, the you know the ones in the right in the middle of your mouth. Yeah. When I was like thirteen, I was walking on the bus. This kid tripped me, and I like hit the ground as I was walking on the bus. And me being who I was at that time, I got in his face and started punching him. And he kicked me in the face and like instantly kicked me in the face. And it chipped my tooth. And so I've had this tooth fixed four times now. It just, all the time, something will happen. Like uh, me and Anakin were fighting and I was just like, and I clenched my teeth and chipped it. And then, oh, like, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say, he kicked me in the face. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I went, nah, so hard. <laughs> and this last time I chipped it a few days ago, uh, it was like a Friday morning. I was brushing my teeth and I was just feeling around to see if I got the plaque. And oh, I was like, oh, cool. I just chipped it with my toothbrush. Sweet. Like, I, I actually, like, Damn. I guess I accidentally hit my tooth with it on it when I was brushing. I was going a little too hard in the paint, you know? <laughs> and chipped it there but my dentist has alone has fixed it he's fixed it three times yeah one happened not too long ago too within like the last year or two, two yeah years. i was at work i was music. yeah i was hitting my inhaler and i <laughs> you're not supposed to bite down on an inhaler you're supposed to just use your you're supposed to just use your lips and i bit down on it and chipped it like <laughs> oh man yeah it's so annoying dude <clears throat> but it's weird because every time I get a new t- a new tooth, it always feels completely different than the last one. Like like two t- two times ago when he fixed it, I had just a gigantic tooth that felt like I was goofy from the goofy like goofy movie, and it, like it connected from one tooth to the other. It was just like a big shield like tooth thing, and I had to have him fix it because it was just wasn't right. And I was like kind of thankful it chipped because I was like cool, I get to have a new one put on. And this time it feels pretty good, but the last one it was like kind of jutted out a little bit. Oh man! So like I couldn't like a little bit of a lip. Yeah, I couldn't like bite down a little bit of meat and like kind of pull it away. You know? Oh no! <laughs> it was like I couldn't t- I couldn't make contact with <laughs> the two teeth. It was driving me nuts. Unforgivable. But this one feels this one feels pretty good. You want to feel it, Connor? I'm good. Okay. I'll feel. It. <laughs> Come here, rub my teeth. But uh. Actually, no, let's get that thing feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, no. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> also, um, a couple weeks ago, me and Bo were playing disc golf, and I threw one of my favorite discs, and it landed in the forest. And a couple days later, some guy texted me and was like, hey, I found your disc. I'll bring it, you know, I'll, I'll take it to the local disc golf store, which is called Local Root in Joplin. 
It's a really cool disc golf store, but he's like, I'll drop it off there. I go there to pick it up. He's like, it wasn't there. He's like, Hey dude, I wasn't able to drop it off. I'm like, dude, you told me you were going to do it. Okay. Whatever. So like a week goes by and I'm like, Hey dude, have you ever dropped it off yet? And he's like, no, I haven't. I'll have my wife drop it off. So he drops it off. I go to the disc golf store yesterday to pick it up. The guy's like, no, I don't have the disc. The guy in the store. I was like, seriously, bro. I was like, okay, where, where is, okay. Is there another local, local route disc golf store? And he's like, yeah, in Florida. And I'm like, dude, there's no way I threw my disc that far. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay. And he's like, I'm sorry, dude. And I, as, a, as I'm about to walk out, I'm like, I'm just going to make another joke. So I'm like, you probably saw that it was a, like, cause I, I, I got a hole in one with that disc, uh, w- which is pretty sweet, but yeah, I got a hole in one. I was like, so I was like, you saw that it was a hole in one disc. So you just probably pocketed it for yourself. Didn't you dude? <laughs> and he's like, dude, wait, you're Kyle Hobbs. And I'm like, yes, I am. And he's what? like, I've got your disc. It's right here. And he's like, searches through them all. He's like, dude, I just had like a brain blast. And I was like, there's the disc. He's like, slip my brain. I was like, what? sweet dude. Grabbed it. Weird that he was just like, That's weird. Got it. <laughs> That's yeah. Weird. In the beginning, though. Yeah. But no. then, yeah. But then was able to just recall my full name. It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Four one seven three. Yeah. Three eight. Like, yeah. What? Like, <laughs> I know your social. I know your yeah. phone number. I got your birth certificate right here. <laughs> it was just bizarre to me. He just didn't. He just thought you're an average player. He's like, no way it could be. Yeah, yeah, thank you. He threw it to Florida. And then you're like, you're like ace or whatever, you know? Yeah. Oh wow. Like this guy. This guy didn't get a hole in one, let alone two of them. (laughs) (laughs) Kyle Hobbs, 2015 amateur disc golf champion. (laughs) God, that was like 2010. It was a long time ago. Yeah. 2010 is when I would have graduated, Cal. <laughs> 2010. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> uh, now, me, Jackson, and Ryan saw Thor uh, 11 Thunder. It was pretty banging, man. It was very I good. liked it. What was your guys' opinion on it? Um, one of, Probably one of the best Marvel movies I've seen. Like, a while. Like, I mean, nothing can really top Endgame for me. Like, Endgame was just, you know, too good. But, and also the new Spider-Man was really good, too. Like, just, that was awesome. But this movie was freaking good. It had, it was a lot of, there was a lot of funny parts in it, and I really liked There's a lot of action. Um, just, overall, I think it just, everything was really good. Well done. On the part of Marvel and Disney. Christian Bale... <laughs> Looked pretty wicked with that makeup on, man. He did, especially the scenes where he was kind of hiding in the dark a little bit. It was creepy. Oh, yeah. He, Christian Bale, just every time he's in a different movie, he just plays such a crazily different character. He does such a good job in this one, man. Like, the laughing he does is so weird. You don't expect him to laugh like that, you know? Hmm. Like, you could almost envision him playing a version of the Joker. He's that good in this movie as Gore. I thought, at least. But Yeah, he could, yeah. He could do it. He, could he do was it. cool as shit. He was. Um, I didn't like it as much as Ragnarok. Ragnarok was, yeah, it was really good. Ragnarok was just a different movie, man. Ragnarok is so awesome. Yeah, we were talking about that, the group I went with. We all talked. It was like, yeah, Ragnarok was better, but that's how it usually happens. It's like, one movie's good. The second movie, or third movie, is way better and then it goes like the next movie is like you know it's good but not better than that last one I don't know I would say I liked it like I would say I liked it just as much as Ragnarok you know it had enough good moments in it that I was like okay I'm digging this yeah I just thought I just loved how funny it was yeah the soundtrack was also really good. Yeah, it was heavy on the Guns and Roses. I it would really, have. It really was, but I, I think it was trying to more fit a theme than it was. Like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I didn't expect it to have Guns and Roses in it. But. The last Thor movie had a. Um, oh my gosh! What was um, that? Def, uh, <laughs> oh my, yeah, that's Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin yeah. yeah. I then a lot of Led Zeppelin in the last movie. Yeah. yeah. I wish this movie would have had at least one Led Zeppelin part. Rock. Uh, maybe that song was. <clears throat> but 
Yeah, the music was really good. Um, it was super funny. All the stuff with Korg was freaking fantastic, man. <laughs> God, Korg is one of the best oh, characters in the Marvel God. Universe. Um, but yeah, I'd probably give it around at eight, eight and a half. I really liked it a yeah, lot. Good. That's where I was going to put wow. it was about eight and a half. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend people watch it. It was worth seeing in theaters. I'll yeah. say that. Yeah, I would have loved to see it in IMAX, but uh, I did not get the opportunity to do that. <sighs> I think it better there. It's all, just all the cameos in it were great too, dude. There's a good amount a of cameos. Of cameo scenes in it. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil them for you guys who haven't seen it, but I do kind of wish because um, I I know that Marvel they've gotten this swing of movies where it's like partly f- like they're uh, uh, comedies as well as being action movies. You know, they're almost all of them are comedies. I wish there'd be at least one that was like really serious and not very much comedy in it. Yeah. Just one movie to go really dark and see how it goes, you know, but yeah. yeah. And I mean, they, really they, cool. they, it's like they do have them, but it's not real. They're, they're Marvel movies, but they're not made by Marvel. Like Marvel and Disney. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you see Morbius, man? Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that was dark as it gets. <laughs> it's Morbin time. Yeah. It's, it is Morbin time. Uh, God. That I did. I didn't see that movie in theaters. I recently watched it. Uh, Morb? Yeah, Morb. Yeah. I recently watched it on uh, Vudu <laughs> for free. So I was like, <laughs> nice. worth it. You know, not worth my time watching it, but it was so, It was not. It was a Morbin good yeah, time. it was a Morbin good time. <laughs> nice. Uh, <sighs> How was the bullet time, Morb? It was pretty good. <laughs> I felt in the Matrix when I watched that part. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the Venom is also another one, but, you know, like, the first one was okay. And I like the second one more because you get to see Carnage. And that was, that's what I really wanted to see. Like, I want to see something dark like that, but it's, that wasn't made by Disney, uh, Disney Marvel. Like, the only reason I think that's because it's partnered with Disney. But yeah, that's my point on it. So I wish Carnage was way more brutal. Oh, yeah. I want something. I didn't get enough... <laughs> Car- I didn't get enough carnage and carnage, you know. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't enough carnage coming from carnage. They could totally go off and do like the like more anti-hero movies like that, you yeah. know, like just or carnage is like he's a villain, he's not an anti-hero, but like just make a villain movie. I would like to see like something where heroes are trying to fight the villain and they lose instead of just heroes always winning. I want to see something more dark like that. Give it another side of things instead of like because not all the time in the comics does the hero win. Like, yeah. Have you seen Brightburn? Oh, the is that the, yeah the the <laughs> Superman kid thing? With yeah, the, the opposite. He's like Superman, but he's raised differently or something, or he's evil. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen that. No, but I watched the uh, trailer on it or like originally when it was first coming out, and I was like, that sounds cool, and I just okay. watched it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to get into it, I mean, the the darkest Marvel properties, like you said, are not made by Marvel, but they'd have to be Logan and the Deadpool movies. Logan was insanely good. Like first yeah. first ten minutes of that movie was wild. I'm like, just gutting people and slashing them left and right. I'm like, oh my gosh, this right. is not. This is so cool. They just yeah. need to copy that formula. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Don't forget Watchmen. Yeah. My, DC. my only knock on oh that's right <clears throat> one of my, my <clears throat> other big knocks on the movie is Natalie Portman is not funny <clears throat> no. take that back I didn't <laughs> think she's funny at all any of her jokes I'm like no nah, this did not land for me almost every one of her jokes yeah huh it was they were cheesy it was very cheesy exactly her jokes were pretty cheesy was, they weren't good jokes they were cheesy jokes and Yes, there there was some points you like you laugh a little bit as a chuckle, but it's it's like one of those like eh, that's a that's an okay laugh, and like I don't need to give it my full like some parts in that movie were. Mm-hmm. You give him one of those like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so I had a question for you guys this week. So the CERN has a large hadron collider. And they just upgraded it, and it took a couple of years. I think it took like three years for them to fully upgrade it. But a lot of people are thinking that when they switched it back on, we another parallel universe jumped over, and we're into another different parallel universe. 
over the last one we were in when they right. turned it on, when they turned it on the first time. <laughs> Doesn't make no so, sense, man. They found three exotic particles when they did it. So remember when we Ooh, talked about exotic. this when you we were talking about this one time, like where people were thinking something was spelled differently. I think we did this at work. Yeah, Someone it was like Bears team Bears. recently said that they've all like how do you spell Chick Fil A? P O P E Y E S. He said he like because I I thought it was like C H I K, like you know fillet like spit like fillet whatever. He's thought, he's like I've always thought it was C H I C, not with a K, but it's with a K. Chick Fil A. So, yeah, Chick Fil A. So, like, <laughs> I, I mean, like that's that was like literally like a couple days ago. Yeah, I, I would have said K. Yeah, so I mean, like, but if you I mean, like, that's the thing. That so he thinks people, he's in a different universe. Yeah, he thinks well, he's crossed some people, over. Some people happen. That happens. Some people. Some people are like, well, this wasn't spelled like that, or you know, symbols were different on like logos for things. You know, the Mandela like the fruit effect. of the, the fruit of the loom yeah. thing. Yeah, people yeah. think that there was a cornucopia behind it, yeah. but there's not. Yeah. And what do you think the like Wait, Starbucks? What do you mean? Uh, Starbucks. Um, <laughs> Don't tell me it's no cornucopia. Is. What do you think this, the lady on the Starbucks logo is? Um, she's like a chick with like beams coming kind of out of her head. Yeah, well, <laughs> Beam head, yeah. Some people say yeah. a maid. It's a mermaid. It's a mermaid? Yes. I was about to say it's a mermaid. But yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. I've no. always known her as Beam Head. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard Beam Head on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, people mostly know her as Beamhead. <laughs> uh, That's the dumbest parallel the universe ever. So <laughs> like, hey, yo, who's on the Starbucks? <laughs> yo, Beamhead. <laughs> Beamhead right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've been drinking oh, from that uh, for a minute. <laughs> oh god, she got the best flavors. So sh- wait, she's a wait, a mermaid? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Thought she was the Statue know. of Liberty. I just don't pay attention. I <laughs> guess I, mean, I just whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be <Pretty> cool. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't yeah, tell no, you at all how I it looks or mean, like though. even like. So Bo, back to the Fruit of the Loom thing. So you know how the Fruit of the Loom image? It's got like a whole bunch of like fruits and vegetables or some crap like that. Yeah. Or fruit, maybe just fruit. Probably mostly fruit. Mo- maybe, it's fruit. maybe a tomato thrown in there, which is a fruit. It's a fruit. All that. Um, yeah. all, it's all by itself. There's. It's not sitting within anything. There's yeah. No Do you remember there being like a, a basket type cornucopia thing right behind it? I thought maybe. Yeah. I mean. I, yeah. I always remember that I being how it looked as a kid and stuff. Yeah. Never had one, dude. I always thought that name. Never. Was- yeah. So see, like stuff like that. Like that's. I mean, it could be overlapping. Like you're saying, overlapping universes. And right. Like and the Berenstain Bears thing. Speaking of that, though, I always thought that was weirdly such a good name, Fruit of the Loom. Like, I've said this to Jessica before. I'm like, that is, like, they just really nailed it. You know yep. what I mean? Fruit of, wow. It just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> because it's clothes. Another one is because not. it's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. But anyway. It's and they, the fruit yeah. of the loom. Which would be. Underwear. They're close. Yeah. Fruit <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> of this loom says, shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Your name came up. Your name came up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's You're an, act- an apple. You're an orange. <laughs> shoot this motherfucker. Yeah, back. <laughs> no tomatoes here. Yeah. Wanted a, is such a great movie. That's I'm an, sorry, I'm getting that's an excerpt track. from Wanted. From yeah. Jackson. So back to this, what is it? Hadron, whatever. Yeah, was the it? Hadron Collider. Yeah. CERNs. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hmm. What What is an exotic, would you say? Particle. Particle, yeah. What is an exotic particle? A particle that's not f- known in our universe. Hmm. Mm, uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so far above, like, what I would ever be able to even grasp, like, tentatively. You know what I mean? Oh, right. Yeah, we were crashing these things together really fast, and then these things showed up. Like, what is going on here? What are you guys doing? Yeah, I, I've heard, I saw something that people were saying it was the gateway to hell. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, seriously, that's the only thing I've seen about it, or like, yeah. Like, but you're saying parallel universes. I've, I've seen people think that what, when they turned it back on in 2012, that's when it switched, that's when we switched over the first time. Oh, wow. To like an alternate universe. And that's when people started noticing the Mandela effects happening. 
Hmm. Yes. But people do think, uh, I've seen this on the internet, people think that we've switched over again. So what do you think is the repercussions of this new universe? <laughs> Kaiju. Kaiju. Yeah. You think there's a seam ripped open in the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean? I thought in, in the Ocean. talking about was like, what's going to be the next thing that everyone's going to get screwed up all the time now? Like, what's going to be the next Berenstein, Berenstein? That could be it as well. What is the repercussions of this new universe? Like, hmm. I mean, if their ultimate goal is to open gateways, then they open a gateway in the sky. It's the hole in the ozone layer. And then that's where the kaijus come from. They just drop out, boom. Oh, wow. This heat wave. That's even scarier than the ocean. From the air. Mm. Mm -hmm. They can fly, man. (laughs) Sure can. (laughs) Mothra. (laughs) Hmm. I'm just worried about those particles. That's what I want to know. Where are those particles at now? What are you doing with them? What if you (laughs) ingested it? What is a particle? You, You tell me how all this works. So I'm not so scared. I don't know. What if there was like an experiment to where you could be injected with one of those exotic particles? Would you do it? <laughs> yeah, I would take it. Yeah. yeah. Can I smoke this particle? <laughs> oh my gosh. Get past that particle here. <laughs> How do I... Do I have to hold it like a certain way, like a cup? Do I have to cut my hands? Can I just see yeah. it? Is it like a drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this like a liquid particle? Like <laughs> no, nah, but... Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. You put this particle on top of the soda can. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to soda cans. <laughs> All this technology and <laughs> this here is a card. I just don't understand anything like that. Like, what is that? Like, what is it? Like, oh, and there it goes. Like, we lost. It. Like, it's ridiculous. How does that work? Like, what? I don't know. How does any of this work? Yeah. Is I that is that capture. also? Well, they'd have to be able to study it to know that it's uh, not from this universe, right? So they'd have to capture it. They got so to capture got it. In, like some vial, and they're looking through like some big it's ass ridiculous. microscope. Mm, yeah. Like, oh, here's all these sparkles, and this one, <laughs> this <is> my forty. <laughs> yeah. Like, what about this one? Uh oh. Whoops. Is that the thing that's like huge, like miles long? Yeah, like giant. Yeah. yeah, it's like a mile long. Where is that at? It's in Europe somewhere. All right. While well, he's looking that up. Instead of particles, what would you spin in those to collide them? Hmm. <laughs> meat. meat. <laughs> <laughs> One side bread, the other side meat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The ultimate sandwich. <laughs> the, the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hmm. An event unlike any other. <laughs> yeah. The Kardashians are going to fuse. <laughs> and a could Kardashian season finale. <laughs> <laughs> they go head to head. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> in the Hadron Collider. Yeah. <laughs> They're on collision course. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Chloe versus King. Yeah. <laughs> per Wikipedia, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC for short, is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. It was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research between 1998 and 2008 in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities and laboratories, as well as more than 100 countries. Yeah. So it's a weapon. It is. It lies in a tunnel 27 kilometers, which is 17 miles in circumference Ooh. and as deep as 574 feet beneath France and Switzerland border near Geneva. Okay. Cool. I think it was in Europe somewhere. Just somewhere. Yeah, that's freaking hardcore underground, man. Yeah. Can you imagine if there's like a big explosion right there? It'd probably destroy the Earth. What do you guys think about that? It it fucks shit up. Yep. Because it pretty much when they collide, like collide that, they're creating like mini black holes. Because they're trying to stabilize, like stuff like that, and like just make like energy, just make energy and all this other. They're shit. trying to fucking auto Octavius. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> The power, yeah, of the, power of the sun. The sun. What are trying to do? The crazy thing is, how do you even regulate geniuses like that? It's like you don't. Because I would be like shutting this down. Like, no, no, no. What? What is any, any of this? Like, you know what I mean? They're like, 
but obviously you don't want to do that. I feel like, yeah. But it's like, holy shit, this seems wildly dangerous. Who is, you know what I mean? How would you even begin to be like, I don't think you should collide those two things. Like, <laughs> I read an article about a guy that was doing something with one of those particle smashers. I think one of the older generation ones. And a particle went through the back of his head. I have saw something like, about that. Out, out his eyeball. Yeah. And he lost, he lost his eye and he lost like a chunk of his brain. But he's still alive. Or he, he, as of like, you know, maybe 10 years ago, he was still alive. And Yeah, I watched the thing about that too. It was wild. It's crazy. Such like a yeah, concentrated like thing of radiation like through his, like, yeah. yeah. Through so, his face. Such a small little particle, but it doesn't yeah. matter. It's wild, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty gnarly, bro. Yeah, I think so. Um so here's a kind of a dark question for you and then maybe a little lighter part. So how do you guys think your story ends? How do you think you're, how do you think you're going to go out? Hmm. Oh, dang. What's the lighter part of that? <laughs> this, 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 yeah. don't the lighter part of it is don't think about how right do now. you want to go out? How do I want to go out? Yeah. But let's start with the first one. How do you think your life ends? How do you think you're going to go out? I'm going to die in a crash, to be honest with you. Think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, <laughs> Just God. Being, being literal here. Oh, damn, Ryan. Well, I'll be at your funeral. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome, dude. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I got love for you, man. I'll be there for you. Thanks, man. Oh, man. It's either water related or electricity related. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, that's the real feeler. Yeah, <laughs> I like to bathe with the toaster. <laughs> so, I really did just start getting the ridiculous in the ocean. I was like, man, I could, oh, dude, I can, I can be out here. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm the furthest person out here. I should not be the furthest person out, you know, at, at the beach. Like, like <laughs> yeah, you, know, you get stuck in a riptide, yeah. you're screwed, dog. I need those bricks over there. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and this little st stupid boogie board that kept like flying away from me. I was like, oh man, like, that was sketchy. <laughs> da -na, da -da -na. <clears throat> man, honestly, I'd like, I think mine would probably be better reversed, you know, because how I would, would, how I would want to die is like in my sleep, you know? Yeah, but how, but, how do you think you're going to die though? Um, friggin'. With coke all over my nose, and <laughs> and he's, and he's eighty-one years old. <clears throat> Dang! And I'm like, you ever see the movie Secondhand Lines, like where they die by going out in a plane? I want to do the same thing, but all coked up. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I think I will have saved enough money, retired at a good age. I'll be in the Napa Valley with my wife, and I'll be stepping on some grapes, making making some wine. And I'll step on one too many, and I'll slip and fall and hit my head. Ooh. What age? What Ooh. age do you think? Uh, I like? think I'll be about sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Yeah, and I'll be smashing those grapes. I plan on living <laughs> until so at good. least seventy. I feel like once I hit seventy, that's when I'm just going to say screw it, and I am just going to start experimenting with like all the stuff that I've never done like in my life. I'm going to try out heroin. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try out like every single drug that I haven't tried. And there you go. Because like at that point, I'm 70. It's like, why not, man? Mm -hmm. I'm at the end of this block, road. Man. 70 to 80 is probably gonna be the last 10 years of like my life where I'm not gonna be all scaring people coming around the corner looking like a goblin, you know? Yeah. So I figure like during that 10 years, that's gonna be the 10 years where I'm gonna be like, all right, like. Cocaine, heroin, <laughs> ecstasy. Go to Guatemala, Guatemala. Buy some hookers. Who do you? Where do you think you're gonna like, get all this when you're 70? What's your? Where's your hookup coming from at 70? Yeah, for real. Hey, 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 hey you, you punk go. kids! <laughs> you're like shaking like <laughs> heroin. <laughs> Please. Please. I don't know. Shoot, by the time you're 70, you'll probably be like death sticks. By the time I'm 70, everyone's probably gonna be named like Lil Nas X and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Any like, of you dickheads have ecstasy? Oh, Little like, brody boy, can you get some crack? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a cop. <laughs> Thank you, DJ Quick Stop. <laughs> I was most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that thing 
I'm going to some hell myself back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I can handle it. I can see you talking like <laughs> Herbert the Pervert from Freaking Family Guy. Oh, uh, no. You're like, mm, oh, get no. your fast space ass back here. Nah, nah, <laughs> For one, I can't do the whistles with my ass. tricky. I can't do that. It's very tricky. Space. Connor, how do you think how do you think you're gonna go out? How do I think it'll probably happen? Um probably in the like a back street with a bunch of stab wounds <laughs> and a homemade bat suit, you know? <laughs> 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 Most likely what was going to happen. <laughs> he doesn't look like Batman. He's dressed like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to fight crime with his ears. <laughs> he's walking down from that building. We had to stab him. <laughs> if you have a bat that big in your hair, you got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> they heard Al stop, but they kept stabbing. <laughs> now, people always discover Connor in his bitch black areas and him going, trying to work on his ankle location. Just come on. <laughs> He's just like yelling out in the darkness, say something. <laughs> I don't hear you. <laughs> These big ass ears ain't working. So, how do you guys want to go out, though? A blaze of glory, or... Yeah, sounds cool. <laughs> so, you know, uh, Wild Wild West, the movie? Yeah, When they course. got those collars on, and they're getting chased by that... Uh, that those big saw that blades. Saw blade. Yeah. yeah, that's how I want to die. Dang. <laughs> nice. I want Jackson to be there. I want him to be running with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be like, we're jumping into this canyon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Connor didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I would try to figure out some kind of way to like make it so that magnet doesn't like hit me at full force, you know? Right. Because I would be like, man, it, there's got to be some kind of way to where you could like run away from this like flying magnet to the point like okay now i can slow down a little bit but then again it is a magnet and anytime you get close to a magnet they always go yep <laughs> they get stronger the closer they get. get close to it it's like oh, okay full force yeah, yeah. it's it, it's like ice at the bottom of a glass you know it's like as soon as like you get it to a certain point it's like all right everyone now <laughs> yeah i've always wanted to to at least be in control of it somehow i don't know really but yeah i wanted to be like at an older age and kind of just i don't know like how exactly but i'll probably just be like i'd tell people i'll be like all right i'm out and then just do something crazy like you know really maybe jump off a bridge or something do a little flip (laughs) (laughs) it was cool (laughs) this will be a very big bridge wow Uh, man i'm trying to think of like what's like the most idiotic thing you could or like the but like, what's those, one of the dumbest things you could say, like right before you jump off a bridge? You know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. What will I say? Anything? No one will be there. <laughs> you know. So. Until Backstreet, get the boys back together again. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you could jump out of a plane boat, just like. Yeah, something like that would be cool. That'd be the way to go out. Like man. I don't want it to be sad I don't like anticipate it being sad like I'm not gonna do it when I'm depressed because I feel like that's like you know it's shitty lighter suit you know I wanna be like I just I don't know it's just cool like you kinda can be in control of I don't know I wanna actually acknowledge like death like like yeah, hey guys I mean, tomorrow I'm dying tonight we're having a party exactly like that we're gonna live it up tomorrow yeah. I'm going out yeah I'm out yeah, yeah. Well, you want to do it like in midsummer, where so, you just like reach a certain age, and it's like, well, it's time to jump off the cliff head first. If you ever get a really weird invitation from me, you better hit me up. <laughs> just don't do it through Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just post about it on Facebook. Yeah. How about text hope, messenger? Good phone I hope call. People, yeah, check this. Joining Kane death party. Yeah. First of, all, first of all, yeah, no one should ever put me in charge of getting a hold of people. I'm like, man, this is not my strong suit. But, uh, <laughs> Ryan, how do you want to go out? Doing a fat split jerk and then breaking your whole body? Yeah. <clears throat> just 
ex- just implode. Uh, you know, I mean, kind of the same thing with uh, Connor and then more of like a Mad Max theme kind of thing. Like, you know, just fighting people off in like this freaking Mad Maxy vehicle with guns and stuff. That'd be cool as shit. Hell yeah. I mean, or an alien invasion. That'd be badass. I don't know. <laughs> freaking fighting aliens and then dying one. would be cool. They'd probably probe me. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be probed. Probably would. Probe all of us. That probe gives you a superpower of some kind. It'd be freaking cool. That I wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to die. I'd be like, I just got superpowers. <laughs> nice. Eh, I guess I'd I'd like to die like surrounded. I don't know, probably by you guys, like my friends. As we beat you yeah. to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by my friends. In a car wreck going off of the canyon. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah. While we're all holding hands. <laughs> I'll drag you Last guys into podcast it. of crashing with friends. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keaton actually posted one time a long time ago on Facebook, and there was like no context, but it just said team die date. Like he was just being like dramatic. And then, like, so like Jessica and I were always saying that to each other for like the longest time. It just, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll, I'll definitely be there, Jackson, if you want to. It'll be like team die date and we'll, uh, we'll drive off a cliff or whatever. Well, as long as you have a cool plan. I'll be there to say bye. Yeah. And just waving at Kyle. <laughs> He's going to die on grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he don't die today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we say that to each other as we're driving off the cliff. Like, Cal's gonna die by grace. <laughs> what a loser! Yeah, oh, well, he could have got in on this. But. We'll, we'll be snickering to ourselves, like going yeah. off with the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Did you get your tent? Did you get your or sprain your rail? Uh, ah, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. He done fucked it up. <laughs> Oh man! It almost has zero context with what we're talking about, anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> right? This is gonna be a reach. <laughs> it was a far reach. Do you give yours, Kyle? I sure hope it's not from freaking having an asthma attack. That'd be the worst way for me to die. Like God, I, I've thought about that too many times. I'll always be there to <laughs> save you from this. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> from an asthma attack. <laughs> Just text him, man. Text yeah. him. It's usually, it's I'll usually there, in the I'll middle. I'll be there to save you one from the that causes you to die. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's usually in the middle of the night and I can't see shit. I'll be there Breeze, and I'll do like the, the the Lloyd Christmas, <laughs> a whole bunch of loogies and just yeah. Maybe not so much time. You just walk. You just walk I, over and trake me real quick. I'm like, I don't need a trake. <laughs> Pills are good. Uh, yeah, Stuff like that. Um. <laughs> I, I. If you ever need part a of me thinks, me, I'm sorry. If you ever need a tricky out of me on you, I can do it. I watched Anaconda. Oh, all right, dude. It's the same. With thing. how I've the seen how to do, it. yeah. With how the world ends. Uh, with how the world is going, I should say. <laughs> you know how the world ends. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen. He knows it all. I've seen a vision. <laughs> But no, if I'm envisioning this like Water World, you guys ever seen Water World? Yeah. I've been to Water World. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of that, but everywhere. Slides everywhere, bro. But I can envision myself, you know, on the high seas running from some pirates, and um, I'm really hitting some big wakes, you know, and then. Um, I just hit the biggest wave I've ever hit in my life, dude. And gnarly, bro. You yeah. Just hit too hard. <laughs> the impact alone just snaps my whole body in half. From the inside out. From the inside out, yeah. <laughs> Hell so yeah. You want to get snapped in half? Oh, never mind. I'm not going to go down the line. I, mean, I don't want it to end that way, but that's how, that's how I think it's going to end. In a world uh, where there's just water. <laughs> yeah. Kyle hits a wave just too a little hard. <laughs> a little too hard. <laughs> so the rest of the episode, we're going to go over the upcoming games, movies, and TV shows of the year that are of note. Yeah. All right. Not spend too much time on each, but give our thoughts and our hype levels and yada, yada. 
So let's start with the games. So for Jackson, this one already came out, F1 2022. Do you care about that at all? Um, like, between, like, e- like a resounding yes and, like, mid, you know? I will buy that game, like, once it's on sale, but I'm not interested at all in any of the pay system stuff. So, but that's EA for you. Yep. So would you give it a meh? I would give it a meh. Mm, okay. <laughs> more enthusiastic meh. Yeah. Okay. Fair but you wouldn't give it a yeah? I would give it a yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you wouldn't give it a no. I would not give it a no. Okay. Sounds good. I would not good. give it a hard no. Sounds good. Would you give it an Anakin? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, mm. I, m- maybe mm. maybe more like That's a, good a question. maybe That's more a good like question. a <laughs> maybe more like a okie dokie or something. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe closer to an okie dokie. <laughs> All right. All right. And that comes out on July first, which has already came out. Um, another game that's coming out already is Gwent Rogue Mage. Z by played Gwent. I've played Gwent on the phone, and I've played Gwent in Witcher. I'm pretty sure Connor has also done that. Nice. Yeah, I played plenty of Gwent it's, it's a, in the game. It's good. It's a good like system. They have they right. they made a good card game system. Um, playing it like because um, I play a lot of different card games like Magic or. Uh, Pokemon Stone or whatever, but I mean, compared to those or Pokemon, uh, compared to those, it's I would rather play those, not Gwent. Right. Um, July nineteenth, a game that's coming out is uh, Stray. Woo 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 woo. Ooh, that's the streaming cat game, that. Right? That's that cat game. That's that cat game. Yeah, it looks super awesome. hype. Yeah, I've actually hype. seen the advert for that. Uh, Jessica's actually kind of excited about that. I could see maybe playing that. I can't wait a to be bit. a cat. Yeah, it looks yeah. awesome. I'll be streaming that if you anyone wants to check out gameplay. So would you guys give that a yeah? I give it a yeah. I give it a yeah. Oh uh, yeah. 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 I give okay. it a straight cat strut. <laughs> or, or a, <laughs> That's what yeah. I give it. <laughs> now what about a game called Bright Memory Infinite on July twenty first? I don't even know what that is. Neither do I. So you'd give it a meh. I give it a what is that? <laughs> okay. I'm with, I'm with Connor. What is that? It's that crazy shooting game that kind of looks like Doom, Ooh. but it, it, it's like Japanese kind of stuff everywhere and like really crazy like lens flare effects. And do you guys not remember it at all? It's I, not okay. ringing a bell. I can get behind it if I if it's like Doom. Nice. Like, so that's a no. I feel like I've seen so, <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> okay. So on July twenty second. There's a game called Live Alive for Switch. It's a remake by Square Enix. Anybody care about that at all? Live I'll pass. Alive? I'll pass. That's a no? Okay. No. Yeah, I'll pass mm-hmm. too because I don't know what that is either. So, so f- Sounds like a, like a metal band in like 20. Yep. Yeah. You're probably right, boom. <laughs> sounds like the <laughs> the live DVD for the band Live. <laughs> live, live. Yeah. <laughs> live, alive. On July 29th. Digimon Survive. Oh, fucking yeah. I don't even know about that. Well, but some Digimon, dude. Is that a fighting game or is it a, yeah. what is it? I think it's a RPG. RPG. I think it's RPG? RPG. Yeah. What console is that That sounds for? pretty cool. Oh, that oh. is for everything, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely. Do you play just as the, the Digimon? It's probably more so. of like the, you ha- like more of long lines of Pokemon, probably. Like you are the person walking around, you have the Digimon with you. But I don't know. But I can get behind Digimon games, so yeah. I'll okay. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for Nintendo Switch. Xenoblade is awesome. All of them are good. So you'd give that a yeah? Yeah, I'd give it a yeah. Connor, about you? What is it? Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'll pass. Okay. Turbo Golf Racing. Have you guys, any of you heard about that? No, but that does sound fun. It's basically Rocket League. Oh. But you're playing golf. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I love Rocket League. You have turbo, <laughs> fast turbo cars, turbo racing. Is it made by the same team that makes? No, it's a different different oh. studio. Someone's just cribbing off of Rocket League, and they're like, "Hey, let's do golf, but with cars." We'll have to check mm. it out. I'll it's give that a yeah. I'm gonna say yeah for sure. Yeah, I do love me some Rocket League. I watched <clears throat> some gameplay of it, and I'll I'll pass. Does it look like shit? No, I just I don't play Rocket League. Why would I play that? You know, 
No offense. But yeah, I just I understand. Yeah. It looks cool though. Yeah. Like I say, it doesn't look cool, but it's all pass. I'll have to check out some gameplay on it. If it's like Rocket League, I'm down for it as well. I have like six hundred hours in Rocket League. Roller Drome on August sixteenth. Yes. Yeah, that, I'll play that. That's the game that's like a mix of like roller derby and shooting, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like time. Tony Hawk Pro Skater type of like going off of ramps. Yes. And as you're in the like at the height of your air time, you go in slow motion and you start shooting everybody and stuff. Yeah, the game looks huh. crazy. I do yeah, love sounds this, cool. like that. What was it? My friend Pedro in slow motion shooting. Mm-hmm. So it was so cool. And that'll be on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. Nice. Mm. Madden NFL 23. Do you care about that at all, Jackson? August 19th? I'm mm. done with Madden, man. Okay. It comes out on my birthday, though. Yeah, it's I'm, on my birthday. Like, what ha- I'm, what I'm happened? I'm really hesitant to even <laughs> get the new F1 game because I'm, I just I hate EA. Right. Yeah, mm. they're evil. They're going to get money out of me for Skate 4. <coughs> no, no Skate not. 4 is going to be free. Free to play. And it's what? called Skate. Skate 4 is free to play. And they changed the name to Skate, yeah. That happened, that they announced that today. Yeah. And it's going to be on all consoles. It's going to be cross <laughs> it's going to be cross platform, cross progression. You said it was going to be free to play? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. With microtransactions, they said. Probably for just the clothes and the boards and stuff like that. Out the butt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Hey, as long as I can skateboard, that's really all I'm in there for Dude, is the skateboarding. But normal. I think it's cool that it's cross cr- cross platform, so we'll we'll all be able to just skate together. That'd be so fun, dude. I mean, really? We'll all have yeah. mostly the same oh, consoles, any, consoles or computers. Like majority of us, I mean, you have an Xbox. Okay, right. that does sound pretty cool. And it's free, like mm, yeah, I can, I can see that. Games. Skate is chef's kiss. It is yeah, it's quite a bit. Like cream, well. It's yeah. the best skateboarding experience, in my opinion. Yeah, it's good. Um, Saints Row on August 23rd. Uh, I'm kind of maybe. Over, I'm kind of over freaking, like, I guess more arcadey Saint Row game like that or uh, Far Cry kind of thing. I'm just not into them anymore. So you'd but, give uh, that a no? I'd probably give it a no. Yeah, I, I didn't even play three. Connor, you'd give that a meh? I'm giving that a wait till the reviews come out, and if it comes out on Game Pass, probably if, it, if everything lines up. If the stars are on your side? Yeah. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm with Connor. I'd give that a meh. I've never played any of the other Saint Row games, so I'm not going to rule it out. It's a complete remake. They're it, doing like, a lot of things different, so I'm going to give them a shot to at least get the reviews out. So it's a I'll remake of like the original, or is it? It's a just a restart of okay. their universe in general, because I guess their universe got really crazy at the end of the last one. Uh, like everybody did. was like superheroes flying around. It really yeah. did. That's why I was kind of over it. Huh. <laughs> um, Destroy All Humans Two. Reprobed on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC on August 3rd. Reprobed. 30th. I've that always had the desire to kind of play those games a little bit, just to dabble. So mm-hmm. it's a, I kind of want to dabble, is what my response right. is. The Lord of the Rings Gollum on September 1st. Uh, I don't know what any of the gameplay looks like. It's just though. like a stealth game. You're playing as Gollum. That's really it. Just yeah, I'll a pass. stealth game. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably pass on that. I'll give it a man. The least interesting. I'll give that a man as well. The least interesting Lord of the Rings character. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. Is it? It's a fighting game. Fighting yes. game. Mm, I'll pass on a fighting game. I love me some JoJo. Yeah. Okay. I like JoJo. The Last of Us Part One redo on September second. Pass. Uh yeah, also pass. Okay. I don't, I've already got that story. I don't need that story. I again. played that game on the original version, and then when they did an like a remaster of it for Same. PS4, yeah, I don't need to play it again. Yeah, or I don't need to buy it again. Yeah, I'd play it again if someone like got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play it for free. <laughs> when does Skate come out? Um, there's no date for that yet. Uh, it's still in development. Um, They're starting to talk about it. When Odin is pleased, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. NBA 2K23 on September 9th. Do you mm-hmm. care at all, Jack? I do like the 2K games. I don't know. Enough to buy it day one? No. Okay. Splatoon 3 on September 9th. Fuck yeah. That's your jam? Oh, I love Splatoon 2. It's so much fun. Nice. I always love playing like Paint War 
also like F- FPS. It's so much fun. Like if you haven't played that game before, I do recommend playing it on Switch. It's awesome. Nice. I would wait till three comes out because I think they're supposed to have a campaign thing, and then also the multiplayer because it's not you're not really going to get anything story wise out of the multiplayer. So uh, it's a great game to play with friends because me and my brother played it a lot. It was really fun. Okay. Metal Hellsinger, September 15th. That is like a game that looks exactly like Doom, but it's you're shooting to the beat. Ooh, I'll and give that it's a, got, huh. It's got like Surge Tanky in, does, a, does some songs in it. Um, just a whole bunch of like really heavy metal singers have contributed to this record. And Damn. if you if you don't shoot to the beat, you don't hear the singing. All you hear is just the beat playing. But the better you do in the game, the huh. vocals start coming in and the vocals start like pumping you up, stuff like that. I do like rhythm games. Yeah. So I'll give it a But it's like exactly like Doom, but you if but it's literally you gotta go boom, 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 I'm boom, it, boom. Man. Like you're just clicking like crazy. Have you played uh what is it called? Crypto the Necromancer? No, I've not, but I've beat seen game, it. But it's like how you like you have to go to the beat and move your character to the beat, but that also like monsters also move to the beat and then like how you hit is also moving to the beat so it's like all rhythm based it's really cool mm-hmm. hmm. um session skate sim september 22nd i've already got it i already played a shit ton of it so i see it comes out for real on legal. xbox one and pc on september 22nd you might yeah. like it both it's a skating game Skateboard simulator. There's mm-hmm. only room for one skate game, and that's skate. Yep, it's true. I'll play them all. Overwatch. But who knows when that's going to come out? It could be forever. I don't know. I kind of yep. want to play Ollie Ollie World. Have you guys seen anything on that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it looks pretty I, cool. I know what you're talking about, but. Ollie Ollie World. No, I have not huh. played it. Overwatch 2 on October 4th. I will be playing it with you boys, probably, if you guys play it. <laughs> what do you think, Connor? It's going to no. be free to play. Yeah, I'll at least download it and check it out day one. I can't promise anything beyond that, but I can at least try it. And it's going to be on every every console known to man. And crossplay, right? Yeah, I think crossplay. It's going to be another one of those games where if you ever want a good skin, you got to buy it. Yeah. yeah, the whole free to play thing is really irking me. That's what a lot of games do now, just to, so they can make more money for their team. So, but that's that's just a it's really gimmicky, really. Marvel's Midnight Suns on October seventh. I'll play it. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of excited about this thing. I want to see gameplay. Obviously, no gameplay yet, but I'm kind of excited about it. You haven't seen gameplay yet? I'll have to send you a link. I haven't either. Last thing I saw was the Spider-Man reveal. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's like a XCOM type Marvel game, right? But with more, more walking around, more freedom. Depending. You don't really get behind cover and stuff like that. There's no point, you know. I did play You're a superhero. You know? <laughs> Superheroes don't need cover. <laughs> a Plague Tale Requiem on October 18th. Anybody care about it? No. I'm like, I'm thinking about playing that first one, A Plague Tale Innocence. So depending on how that goes, I might be excited for it. We'll see. Okay. Because it'll be on, ga- uh, on the Game Pass. Scorn, October 21st. Yes. Thousand times yes, I'm really looking forward to playing Scorn. And it's inspired by like HR Geiger type art. Yeah, so like all the like infrastructure you see on the movie Aliens, like on the alien ship and stuff like that. Mm. That's like what this whole place is going to It literally just looks like hell, dude. It looks awesome. like it's going to be crazy. That's mm. also a Game Pass game. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotham Knights on October 25th. I'd like to see the reviews, but I'm hopeful. Yeah. I'd like to play as Nightwing. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, High on Life, October 25th as well. It's that Rick and Morty looking game where every gun like has a mouth on the back of it like yelling at you, talking. <laughs> and stuff. It's either going to be really good or really bad, man. Yeah. 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 It looks interesting. It looks really like visually it looked good when they showed it at least. Exactly. We'll see. Hopefully it's good. Um, Bayonetta 3 on October 28th. I do like Bayonetta. I'll pass. But I don't know. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on October 28th. Yes. I think this might be the first 
Call of Duty game that I might buy day one. Hmm. Interesting. My campaign got you? Campaign, and I want to play the multiplayer. Okay. I like playing the multiplayer on the game, dude. Multiplayer is fun. Yeah. I do have mine updated and downloaded, by the way. <laughs> nice. But yes. Hmm. Getting that day one as well, because that's what I've done with all the other Call of Duties that have been... I didn't get Vanguard because I didn't care for it. I don't care that. Yeah, World War Two is... It's it's overdone. not the best. It's overdone, and also you're not going to be getting a whole lot of weapon customization. And that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I like yeah. I like what they did with. They all didn't the really have cool reticles in World yeah. War Two. Yeah, they didn't right. have any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they put them in the game. That's false. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see here, Skull and Bones, November eighth. That's the uh, pirate ship one, right? Yeah. Yeah. The one from Ubisoft. You're fi- you're fighting other pirate ships. That sounds freaking awesome. I haven't seen anything on that, or maybe I have. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've seen so much video game trailers and vi- like video game stuff. It, it's all blended together now. I really like Sea of Thieves, Sea Combat, and if it's just Sea Combat, that's freaking awesome. Right. Um, God of War Ragnarok, November 9th. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The first one's so good, dude. Yeah, I can't wait for it. That's a yeah for me. <laughs> oh, that's a oh yeah. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, November 18th. Yes. I would say, I want to say yes, but I don't have a way of playing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I am going to play it, most likely. De- nice. Definitely, yes. The Callisto Protocol, December 2nd. That game that's like a... Oh, it's uh, like Dead Space. Dead Space, yeah. Dude. It's the same, it's one of the guys that can't left Dead Space. Glenn like, Schofield. Oh, yeah, dude. That game looks freaking awesome. If you haven't seen gameplay trailer... It was, at, it was during oh, the Xbox conference. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm I sorry. was so happy because it's it's like in the same universe. I think no, it's in the PUBG universe. Is what it is. Right. And that's pretty much all the high profile games for the rest of the year that I saw that looked good. Um, so we wanted TV shows. Melatonin, really quick. Melatonin video game. I'm really stoked for that. Out? I think it's uh. September, yeah, September sixteenth. So yeah, melatonin. It's a really awesome rhythm game. Be on the lookout. So sick, dude. I'll Gosh. be playing that. Nice. Yes, yeah, so will I. Um, so for TV shows, July eleventh, Better Call Saul season six comes back. Did you guys watch that at all? No, I love Better Call Saul. Yeah. I'm not caught up on it. But I'm not either. I need to. It shows just as good as Breaking Bad, man. Yeah, I watched all Breaking Bad. It's really good. I have to watch it. Watch yeah, three or four seasons. I don't know. Nice. What we do in the shadows season four starts July twelfth, <clears throat> which is two days. Yeah, ago. I've actually been wanting to start watching that. Me and Rachel started a few days ago, and <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, it? right on. Nice. We started from the beginning. Yeah, we just started it over. Because I've seen a, pu- a bunch of episodes, but not in succession. You know, saw a bunch at my house. Yeah. Um. Doctor Pimple Popper season eight on TLC. <laughs> No, Disgusting. nothing for you guys. <laughs> Get on that. Well, I hope if I ever want to watch those videos, I, I hope that's not what it sounds like. <laughs> it is exactly, it's exactly what, it what it sounds like. like. What? What do it's you mean? It's not just pimples. It's like freaking people watch that. Yeah, and she gets them out with her tongue. I'm, I'm uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. I'm really rough. Those people, like I don't know. There's something about just popping zits up. I like watching people pop zits. That's fucking really? gross, dude. You're disgusting. <laughs> you won't let me now watch this over here, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> won't okay. let him take a drink after him, but he'll watch someone fucking squirt some ooze all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Dude, I freaking love watching blackhead removals. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, so oh my God, Jack. Oh, my God. I dig that shit. <laughs> he lives for it. <laughs> I love all those acne removal videos. Was it ever since Connor cut you open and got that cyst out? You're like, I'm fucking hooked on this. <laughs> He's like, it was such feels such pleasure for me. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Videos, oh my God. I imagine Connor's the one like getting. <laughs> <laughs> you see the hands. That's uh, Connor's yeah. hands. <laughs> Let the doctor work. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had my own. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> like my own touch sounds. <laughs> Ugh. You guys are fucking gross. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna feel some light pressure. <laughs> um, this one's for Jack. I thought he'd like this one. 
Uh, <laughs> is it ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, ass of the ass. <laughs> five guys a week on Lifetime, July 13th. I don't even know what the fuck that five is. Five guys a week. Can you handle that, Jack? Five guys? <laughs> what a ass. Yeah. Yeah. A a week. Week. I can barely handle you four. <laughs> <laughs> American Horror Story Season 2. Horror Stories, plural. I don't give a shit about this show anymore. My wife watches it every year. What? What do you mean? What do you... Two? Would you say part two? Yeah. Because it used to be just American Horror Story, and they went up to, like, what, season eight or nine or ten or eleven, whatever. Yeah. And then they switched it over to American Horror Stories, plural. And... Yeah. Dumb as shit. Now it's yeah. less good. Now it's less Interesting. Good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh... Light and Magic on Disney Plus on July 27th. That's He's, the documentary series about Star Wars um, Industrial uh, Light and Magic. People mm-hmm. did all like the cool like space technology and all the CGI and all that stuff. That's cool. You feel that sweet. fake the movie? I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, it'd be cool. To I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I got Disney Plus. Um, Paper Girls on Amazon. I, get, it, I watched the trailer like over here. Like when I first came over, and it looks interesting. Yeah, it's uh, set during the '80s, and it's like these four girls have a paper route, and during the paper route, like a time portal kind of thing opens up, and they go back to this chick's house, and they walk in the house, and this you know older lady's like, "You're in my house." The younger chick's like, "You're in my house," and it's like they they went to like 2019 oh, from wow. the '80s. That's crazy. Yeah, and there's like time police. It looks like they might be chasing these girls and stuff, and. One of the girls get back in your portal. Exactly like Edward Furlong from Terminator Two. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) John Connor. That's that's all I thought of when I was watching that trailer. I just kept saying for I kept waiting for that girl to be like, "She isn't my mother, Todd." (laughs) 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 I kept waiting for one of those lines. Man, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like they're trying to uh, crib off the Stranger Things vibe. But it's made by Brian K. Vaughn, and he made uh, Why the Last Man and a bunch of really cool graphic novels. Um, the Sandman on August 5th. Pretty stoked for that. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. yeah. Good to great. Yep. I've been Legendary. hearing a lot about it for years, so it'll be nice to see it. Legendary graphic novel. It's really good. Like I really advise people watch it, read it. I Am Groot on August 10th to cartoon show on Disney Plus. Is it like short short uh, cartoon show? I have no idea. I believe it is, yeah. Yeah, zero interest. Zero interest as well. My okay. son will probably watch it, so I'll probably watch it. I'll probably watch it. We she- are Groot. <laughs> yeah. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, August 17th. I'll watch it. What? Yeah, it's, mm. uh, it's it, looked, it looked okay. I mean, it looked mad. Probably the least interested of any Marvel show that I've ever been. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Was that like a comic or something? Like, she Hulk, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah she's uh, she's Bruce real. Banner's like and cousin, and cousin. And, uh, and okay, cousin, yeah. and she gets like hurt and needs a blood transfusion. Huh? And he's like the only one that's like. Yeah, and like, we're gonna go with this guy. We're gonna go with you know yeah. the big guy. Give him the <laughs> Remember that guy that cost three million, three billion dollars worth of damage to San Francisco last year? Yeah. yeah. House of the Blood. Hey, that, having that said, blood. having said what I said, though, I am gonna watch it and give it a shot, but I'm just not that excited for it. Same. I am the opposite. I am extremely excited for it, and I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> That's your choice. <laughs> you said you're the opposite. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tease myself. So yeah. the opposite of what. I'm doing is you're not going to watch it. That's what he was saying. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm the opposite of Jackson. Oh. It's like, I, I am excited for it. Ooh, I want to watch that. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. But I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh, man. Um, House of the Dragon on August 21st. Game of Thrones is back. I am. That's meh. the prequel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tar- meh. The Targaryen show. I'll watch it. Very much a meh. I hmm. watch it. Uh, I like Game of Thrones. High hopes. It, it it did hurt a little bit on the last season. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it, but this is House of the Dragon. This is House of the Dragon. This is something different. It is completely different. Mm-hmm. I want to wait will, for the first. I will watch it. All the way through. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the first like three or four. Wait. 
<laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Rewind. I'm gonna wait for the first three to four episodes to come out first, and then at that point, if someone is like nagging me on, like, dude, watch it, it's really good, maybe I'll check it out. Okay. But yeah, I, I really don't have that much of a desire to watch it. Okay. Is that Dragon Girl's boobs going to be in it? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts, man. Why don't y'all let me know? Maybe I'll watch it. Boobs. Yeah. Boobs. It's going to be the first season of an HBO show, so it's going to be packed with tits, probably. No, you more bet. than that. But I want to see that Dragon Girl. Is she going to be there? I don't know. This. I'm unfamiliar with the show. I just know. Billy o'clock. <laughs> she will not be in the show. Well, yeah. um, hard sell. And or... On August 31st. What'd you just say to me? I'm going to pass on that <laughs> shit. And or what? And or. Cassie and Andor. Oh, okay. The okay. pilot of the ship from Rogue One. Mm. Yeah, I know. Also meh. Also meh, huh? Also meh. Yeah, I, I'm also a meh on that show because we already know how he dies. I don't even know. He dies. You really, <laughs> you really have like this thing to where like if like if the person just dies at the end, or if you know they're gonna die at the end, you're just like, no reason to watch it. <laughs> yeah, he no reason. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I, the end. Why does I don't care. I don't really care for the side story. I know how the ending is, so it's like whatever, yeah. dude. But <laughs> he knows yeah. the end. Well, like, if the, if the person dies at the end of the movie, Kyle's like. Fuck this movie. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, it's, well, he, a, it's a waste of my time. Well, he, le- he led up to the ending, you know. He, he's seen the ending, and then he doesn't have to watch anything prior. He knows how he does. Uncut gems, dog shit. Fucking hate. <laughs> Hobbs, he died at the end. That's some fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's completely Why true. Why did I watch this movie about a person that's going to be dead? <laughs> yeah. Screw that crap. I'm I watched not- Schindler's List. <laughs> Everyone's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> not making the joke. Um, the next show, <laughs> the Lord of the Lord. Rings, <laughs> the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I at first, when I first heard about it, I was like, "Oh yes, dude, this is gonna be awesome." And then I saw the trailer, and right. I saw how heavy CGI it was, like like the Hobbit was, and I was immediately was just like, "Man." Fuck this. I hate that heavy CGI look so much, man. I want the original, like, Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings looking, like, with not so much CGI. Actually filmed on location would be nice. Yeah. It costs costs so much money for that, though. They're trying to probably keep it low because of low budget stuff. So did you, did you see the did you see the budget for it already? It's like the highest budget of really? any TV show. It's the highest budget CGI of any TV show. also expensive, and, but I don't know if they want to do costumes and shit. I'm gonna give it a shot. Damn. I want more Lord of the Rings in my life. Yeah, yeah. give it a shot. That's good. Give Homeck another shot. I don't want Hobbit shit. I want Lord of the Rings. Mm, yeah. That's, That's what, what I, I want too. God, I, um, what I, want. Uh, I don't want fucking Hobbit. The <laughs> Second Age of Man. The Second Age, huh? The Second Age. Nice. A big show for me, September 8th, Sunday Night Football. Yeah. Yeah. An enthusiastic yes. Football's okay. Yeah. I watch football's okay. You watch it every Sunday. You've never missed a Sunday. I watch it. Sundays. I'm not as passionate as I was about three or four years ago. I'm still most passionate. I'm pretty pretty most passionate passed. still but I'm not going to be upset if we lose you know? football is like the one sport where I'm like really entrapped in it like not just with my team but I'm like watching everything that's going on well we also play fantasy so yeah even when I'm not playing fantasy I'm still watching yeah. we also play fantasy I had to back <laughs> off man I was I was so addicted to like NFL news at one point that that's all I was doing like you were trying to freebase it yeah all I was doing like <laughs> what what new thing can I find about either the Chiefs or the NFL or what what could I do I just had to stop man it was Granted, too much that was during a Damn. year like when the Chiefs were probably making their Super Bowl run it was so. and then the all the year the that we way. lost it was a, what crushed me I'm like I can't put this on myself it's right. too disappointing <laughs> I had the same feeling, man. I, I was like, man, I gotta step away from this for a while, bro. <laughs> I can't, be I can't watch, be watching Skip and Shannon with fucking Skip going off. Right. Uh, it was too emotional. Too heavy. Fuck uh, Tom Brady. Cobra Kai season five, September 9th. Anybody I'm care about that? looking forward to watching that. I don't even think I'll watch the last season. I didn't watch the last one. I didn't watch any of the seasons. I was gonna say, is that two seasons in one year? 
I think it might be. Because yeah. the first season came out earlier in the year, I'm pretty sure, like January or something. Something like that, yeah. I'm but, excited, dude. It's going to be a good one. Uh, Quantum yes. Leap, September 19th. Yeah, I'd like to see where they take this one. Dude, one. like once yeah. I heard that, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Is yeah. it a reboot? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I've never watched the original. Series. I was a big fan of Quantum Leap when I was a younger kid. Mm-hmm. That's cool. The only thing that I know about Quantum Leap is that one scene where it's like that guy is, that guy is like, I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he walks over to the closet, opens the mirror, and he looks at himself in the mirror, and he literally is. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Have you seen that bow? Huh. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Bow Kane. All right, wow. so the next so, show here. Uh, go on. I was just going to say, I like to see Sliders get a reboot. That'd be cool. Be really cool. So the next show here, Lego Masters Season 3, September 21st. Anybody care about that? That's another show I was addicted to. I had to kind of cool down the addiction. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he had chill the chase. I started getting so many Lego sets and stuff. Dude, all yeah. these Lego cars. I was like, I'm going to start building Legos on the weekends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm over here. It's expensive, man. I am really looking forward to seeing the new season, though. I'm on Amazon looking up where, where's the tiny hammer at that these guys use to pound these fucking Legos together. Yeah. I'm excited for the new season, for sure. <laughs> where can I get a tiny hammer? You're going to relapse? No. <laughs> no. no. Chris Maybe. Angel's Magic with the Stars, October 22nd. Uh, you guys got a mind freak with Chris Angel? Maybe. Mind freak with celebrities. <laughs> um, a lot of people like this show, Yellowstone Season 5, November 13th. I heard it's pretty good, but I am. Like my brother was saying it, but I don't know. Maybe someday I'll check it out. Uh, Willow, November 30th. Anybody have a soft spot for Willow? I, I never watched it, so I can't. Me neither. Like... Bo? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> Lock and Key Season 3. Uh, I started watching the original, like, the first season. It's, of Lock and Key? Uh, it's all right. I loved it. Do you guys watch Lock and Key? I haven't watched it. No, not it, Connor it's, it's did. Really I know cool. you did, right? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for the new season. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. The Witcher Blood Origin. Yeah, boy. Jason That's the Momoa. Jason Momoa one. Yeah, I'm yeah. really excited for that. All right. Last you like page. Me Jason Momoa. And Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> Last page here is just the movies. So, nope, on November 22nd. Hell yes. I'll pass. Yep. I'll pass, too. I'm seeing that next week. Can't mm-hmm. wait. Just kidding. I'm really excited for that one. I, I, was, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, like, from seeing all the trailers and stuff, I was like... Say nothing mm-hmm. from the last trailer in Thor and Love and Thunder. I literally closed my eyes, like, plugged up my ears and started going... So I didn't hear the audio. I did not want to hear anything. What? Oh, none. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything else about nope. Yeah, it looks too good. I love Jordan Peele's movies. It's a nope for me. <laughs> <laughs> Us has like a really fucking weird ending, but other than that, I and I just I really love Aliens movies, dude. Bo, you're gonna come, right? Yeah, I want to be more scared of Aliens. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll bring my pet owl. <laughs> yeah, right. Bullet Train, August fifth. Max hype. Dang. I actually am kind of looking forward to seeing that movie. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but... Yeah. You hyped for it, Connor? I'm really hyped for that one. Yeah. You gonna go see it in theater? I think so, yeah. What is this? This is a Brad Pitt movie where he gets on the train, has to get He's off fighting. it, but he can't because all these people are trying to kill him. Um, He's fighting for this briefcase. Connor, this you really thing. like yeah. train movies, don't you? I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. He just likes trains. I like action movies. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> good. trains. <laughs> um, I like Brad Pitt. I like seeing the train on the track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's this movie coming out called um, September tw- September 2nd. It's called Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. I watched the trailer for that the other day. And it actually you saw the trailer too? Good. It, looks cr- it looks awesome. Yeah. yeah. Huh. The chick from... it's uh, What's the girl's name? She's from Scary Movie. The, ch- the chick from the third movie, the, the girl, it's like uh, fighting that chick inside the TV. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, fighting the ring girl? Yeah, fighting yeah. the ring girl. <clears throat> so get back in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the black yeah. girl from her uh, from looking, that movie. I'm looking her up right now. <sighs> Gosh, and I wish I could remember the other guy, but they're a, they're a pastor group, and I think they're trying to run from for some type of government office, but they have done something in the past that's 
made their church kind of disgraced. Yeah. They kind of go to like I think they're like pastors of like mega church. What's the name of that movie again? It's called Honk for Jesus. for Jesus. Dude. Honk for Jesus, save your soul. I almost wonder if I saw yeah the advertisement for this. I just randomly on accident saw the trailer yesterday yeah, and I was like, wow, I this is like, this looks really freaking funny. The girl that we were trying to think of, her name is uh, Trinity Childs. And do you know the guy's name? Oh no, no, that's that's who she's playing in the movie. Her name is Regina Hall. Regina Hall, yeah. yeah. She's and, uh, the guy's awesome. name is Sterling K. Brown. Yeah, he's from that show. This is us. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> um, yeah, it what looks what really good. I, you mean Emmy nominated? This is us. Yeah, I do, Connor. <laughs> um, Clerks three on September fifteenth. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Clerks. Yeah. Nice. Yep. See, I, I, see I love that. the first one. Second one is, second one. I mean, hilarious. I don't love it as much as the first one. <laughs> second one's funny. When I was in school, I thought it was hilarious, but it's not as funny oh, yeah. to me now as in a, like the but thirty-one. The, the cr- thing is, though, is like, are they going to be able to get away with the humor that they did get away? Of Beavis course. and Butthead did, dude. Oh, the do the universe. Yeah, the new Beavis and Butthead dude. movie, so good. Have you seen it, Bo? No, I want to though. Good, you think right now, it's yeah. my favorite movie of the year. Yeah, yeah dude, it's, it's so awesome. freaking good. I loved it more than Thor: and Love and Thunder. So it's me too. Great. When did that come out? It came out like Maybe two, two weeks ago. Two yeah. or three oh, weeks okay. ago. Hell yeah! It is worth. I've seen it every like four or five time. times since it's been out already. So, so good, man. Watched it the day it came out. What is it on? Paramount, Paramount. Plus. Yeah. Okay. Five dollars a month, I think. Yeah, I might have that. I don't know, dude. We have so many Five dollars just to see that's worth it. Worth the price of admission for sure. He can watch Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. I'm trying to think if I already have it. I don't know. Yeah, probably fucking do. Yeah, while you're on there, watch Star Trek: Strange New Worlds for sure. Maybe. Um, Halloween ends October 14th. I'll watch it. The last wait. Nah. I'll watch it. That's uh, they just released that last Halloween. It was insane. Yeah. It was wild. Definitely gonna go watch it. I did not like the last Halloween. Black Adam, October twenty first. Yes, I'm yes. excited for that. Excited. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. The Rock. Yep. Mm. The Rock Cock Johnson. I don't know if I've seen anything <laughs> about it. Glass Onion, a knives out mystery. So pretty much knives out part two. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty interested yeah. in that. Yeah. I like the first one, so that's I'll see the second one. I First one's really good, man. Yeah. Um, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Oh yeah. And that comes out November 11th. Huh. I might see it. Be the first movie without. Um, yeah. Chadwick Boseman. Yep. Rest in peace. Yeah, that's weird. Um, Creed three, November 23rd. Oh, all right. On. I will definitely I could, watch it, but not. I could see yeah, seeing yeah. that. Right. I might go see them in theater. I love the first two. Yeah, I like the Creed movies. Avatar, The Way of Water, December 16th. Yes, I will see it. JK, I cannot (laughs) fucking wait. Me too, I can't wait. I've seen that probably maybe two or three times. Right. Shazam, Fury of the Gods, December 21st. Yeah, Shazam watches the first thing. Shazam. The first Shazam is good. Shaq? No. (laughs) 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 That'd be so good. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. And isn't that movie... Kazam? <laughs> I don't know, apparently. I yeah, I apparently, I do not know. Um, <laughs> you know he would do it. He would shack the fool for it. <laughs> and these last two are TBA. They, they're they slated to come out this year, but there's no guarantee. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I'll go watch it. Allie loves Jeepers. Yeah. I like Jeepers Creepers as well. I do. I really do want to see that, but the last one was awful, man. Yeah. It was... <laughs> well, the way horror movies have been... In the past couple of years, I, it's probably going to be good. Depending on who the director is, I don't know. I thought the new Hellraiser... I had high hopes for the new Hellraiser movie. Because they were going to have like a female uh, person as like the new Hellraiser. Nice. Or whatever. Or Pinhead. The new Pinhead. And I think I saw like some of the trailer and I was like, uh, man, this just looks... I, I like Hellra- the original Hellraiser, so I'll probably go watch it. And the last movie on the list, Weird Al, or it's Weird... The Al Yankovic story. Yes. Yeah, dude. I will definitely Good. watch Actually, that. Actually, I'm yeah. excited for that, too. The fact that they got Daniel Radcliffe, yeah. a really yeah. short actor, to play Weird Al, like one of the tallest people in like the music industry. I didn't even realize I'm that. Already for, I'm already for it. Daniel Radcliffe is the best, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's great. If they can make Tom Cruise look tall, they can make anyone look tall. <laughs> That's true, dude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. 
And let's move into Yodu. Check this out. Who wants to start us off? All right. I guess I can start. Uh, so, who do you think has the, like, loudest, like, concert of all time? Like, when you uh, think of, like, some of the loudest concerts, who do you think would be, like, up there in the top five? I would go Queen from Live 8. I'd go Elton John. Live 8, I mean. Nah. Pantera. Nah. Well, to tell you the truth, there's really only one famous band that's in the top five on this list. Uh, Kiss is in the top, uh, made it number four. Uh, in 2009, they played a concert that had about 136 decibels. But at number one on here is a Yo. band from Sweden called Sleazy Joe. Uh, they're not a very well-known band, but they basically boast themselves as the loudest band in the world where they played a show. I'm trying to... Th- ah, man. It is a Sweden festival, and I am trying to say it. It was recorded in Hasselholm. Nice. But they... I was trying to say hustle home. Yeah. But uh, the sound pressure levels measured at an ear boggling peak of 143.2 decibels, which is the equivalent of like a sniper rifle shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it is like at that constant level. It's ridiculous. Nonstop. So, yeah. That is uh, my. Check this out. Sleazy Joe with the world record of 143 point decibels, which is basically the sound of one continuous sniper shot. That'd be a good show. (laughs) They're a punk band. Hell yeah. Of course they are. Well, (laughs) yo, dude, check this out. Someone finally built a Halo Spanker rock launcher that actually rotates. On YouTube, it actually works too. Uh, for all your covenant busting needs, uh, they have a whole video as a YouTuber. Jarris of all is the person behind the engineering um, who marveled a nine minute video that explains how he got this thing to work. Nice. Uh, cool. To have the cherry on top, he handed over a rock launcher to a person who actually dressed up in a Master Chief, uh, <laughs> uh, Master Chief, Hell yeah. a suit, who fired it at a lake on the back of a mongoose. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, he's been building this, uh, been wanting to build this, uh, rock launcher for about 15 years and, uh, the re- the reloads just as like iconic as the game itself. It rotates just in the same dimensions as the, uh, actual show, the actual game and door show as well. Cool. cool. Shit. Uh, but that was about a month ago, but, um, that he posted the video on YouTube. But cool. I just seen it ten hours. <clears throat> is the dude in prison yet? And probably not. <laughs> <laughs> or the military is about to recruit him. <laughs> yeah. <Cool. laughs> I guess we'll go in a circle. Yo, dude, check this out. Something that I don't understand, and even if I read more about, it, I still wouldn't understand. The first spontaneously self-organizing laser device, which can reconfigure when conditions change. Our laser system can reconfigure and cooperate, thus enabling a first step towards emulating the ever-evolving relationship between structure and functionality typical of living materials. So holograms. What? Wait, so they're trying to make, like, freaking... Like, legit AI. I don't know, but it sounds intense, and I... (laughs) <laughs> I, I wanted to read more about are it. Are they trying to alter my skin? Here. Are they trying to make holograms? Are they, are they trying confused, to replicate? Are they trying to make a replicator from Star Trek? Are they trying to make like food out of like light? I know, man. It's like what? Up, Scotty? Is this like the Willy Wonka thing where I can grab stuff out of a TV? We don't know, <laughs> but we need answers. <laughs> It's what like, did that mean? That's why he's like, check it out. Exactly. We're supposed to check it out. Like, you said it. You <laughs> tell me what it means. <laughs> I don't know. It did seem like some sort of yeah emulator, so I could be able to emulate shapes and stuff like found in nature and like replicate them and whatever like with lasers I'm like what the f- what are you yeah exactly this is the oh. hadron collider all over again <laughs> um, um, you know what i mean i don't know that's crazy lasers can do stuff now oh man what? <laughs> holograms are just a decade away man they're gonna be everywhere yo dude check this out you will not run out of tears there's no way you will just continually keep producing tears 
And as you get older, um, you start to produce fewer tears, but you still will never you you won't you won't run out of tears. Um, according to the American tears? Academy of Ophthalm- Ophthalmology, you make fifteen to thirty gallons of tears every single year. Damn. I thought you meant like in one session at first. <clears throat> so you said fear of tears. What? Like fear of tears? No. You, say? <laughs> you will not lose. Terrifying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You will not run out of tears. Well, yeah, yeah. I thought you said, you, the, but when you get older, you, you have a fear of tears. I can give you a lot don't of Don't cry on me. Don't. No, 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 no. No, fewer. Oh, I was like, fear. I was yeah. like, hey, man. <laughs> Keep that like, over there, please. <laughs> no, but your, your tears are produced by the lacrimal glands located above your eyes. Tears are spread across the surface of the eye when you blink. They then drain into small holes in the corners of your upper and lower lids before traveling through the small channels and down your tear ducts to your nose. That's why you always get a runny nose when you cry. Yep. Nice. You, pr- you produce fewer basal tears as you get older, which is why dry eyes are more common in older adults. This is especially true for women after menopause due to hormonal changes. Mm. Well, well, that's sexist. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> tears are sexist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you do check this out. Nintendo just bought a um, animation studio called Dynamo Pictures, and they're going to be uh, using that to make different, um, I guess, uh, TV properties and movie properties. And that's in addition to uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie coming out next year. So who knows? We might see a Yoshi something or nice whatever hmm. anything nintendo maybe want them to revitalize the old super mario cartoon show yeah i really want Dude. them to actually come out with like That's a legend of zelda cartoon i think that'd, that'd be, be cool i'd like to see a really really good metroid tv show yeah yeah, yeah metroid, too. metroid could cool. work yeah that's a mama luigi to you <laughs> yeah check all that good stuff out all right well that has been crashing with friends thank yeah. you guys for crashing with friends Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you guys all next week. Later, dude. Bye. Bye. That's a mumbo Luigi. Crashing with friends. Podcast.